Okay, this is a part of section 6.2 that I put on the chapter 5 test, and this is on small samples, and this is only part of section, this is the only part of section 6.2 that you need to know for the test. Uh, the rest of section 6.2 we'll do on the next test. And this is dealing with small samples. A small sample is when you have a sample size less than 30. If it's taken from a population that is normally distributed, then we need to use what's called the T-score. And the formula for the T-score looks exactly like the last formula for the Z-score, except really you look it up on a different table, or um, in terms of uh, Excel, it calculates it uh, a different method. After it calculates these things, it looks it up a different way. So um, we're also so assuming that we do not know the population standard deviation sigma. So if you notice, the last one, the Z-score had a sigma here. So we have to use the best estimate for sigma, which is the sample standard deviation, S. Well, let's go ahead and do a problem. Uh, example 13 says um, the mean height of American men ages 20 to 29 is 69.2. So that's the population mean. 69.2. It says a random sample of 20 men in this age group was selected and the sample standard deviation S was 2.9 inches. Find the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, also known as the standard error, and then also it wants to know what is the probability that the mean height for the sample is greater than 70. Well, since this is a small sample, less than 30 people, and we're dealing with means, sample means, uh, because we're dealing with things like uh, what is the probability that the mean height, we see that, we're going to have to use this t-score right here. So to use the t-score, go to the Excel sheet, go to the z and t-score sheet, and scroll down until you see this area right here. It says use this space for a single x-bar mu and sigma, or s, population or sample standard deviation, and when you're in, your, your sample size is less than 30. So putting in our information, it wanted to know that um, was the probability that their um, height, I believe, their height is greater than their average height of these 20 men is uh, greater than 70. So that's saying that x bar is greater than 70. So we use this area right here, x bar is 70. And we'll use this area when, it's when we're looking for area to the right or to the left. And in this particular problem, we're looking for the area to the right since it says greater than 70. Our population mean mu is 69.2, and our sample standard deviation was 2.9, and our sample size was 20. Once you put that information in there, you get your t-score for the 70, which is 1.233. In other words, we're 1.233 standard, uh, standard errors or standard deviations of the mean above the population mean. Um, the standard error is uh, right here. That's from taking uh, your standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. And right here is the answer to the question. What's the probability that, that you could uh, randomly select 20 people and their average height be greater than 70? Well, the probability that the average height of 20 men being greater than 70 is 11.62% chance, approximately. Okay, so that's your answer to the problem right there. Let's go to the next example. And it says that during a certain week, the mean price of gasoline in California was $1.164, sixteen and four tenths per gallon. What is the probability that the mean price for a sample of 10 uh, gas stations in California is between 1.169 and 1.179, and it says assume this to be the sample standard deviation right here, uh, 0.049. So we go to the Excel sheet, same place because we're dealing with a sample size less than 30. On this problem, we're dealing with a sample size of 10, but we're not dealing with left or right. On this problem, it says between two values, so we need to go to the right here. We put in our lower x-bar value, our upper x-bar value, our population mean, our sample standard deviation, and our sample size, and hit enter, and we'll get our answers to our lower t-score, our upper t-score, our standard error, and here's the probability that it falls between those two values. It's about a 19.8% chance, and that would be the answer to that problem.